Hello, this video will introduce you to the Europedia, which is a significant part of the AP European History course. To get to the Europedia, all you have to do is follow the link on top to blogs and wikis. You've been to this section of the course already when you created your classmates page. When you click that link, you'll notice that another window opens, and you'll see under content is a section for our classmates pages, and also for Europedia. As the year goes on, this place is going to get pretty busy, because under content you'll find different group uh, assignments. We're going to do a mock trial over the Thirty Years' War that will have different teams of attorneys and judges, and you'll be able to find those links right up front. But the Europedia is always going to stay there. When you follow that link, you'll see you get to a what is something that's much like Wikipedia. You have the ability to create and edit pages and to comment on them. The reason we have to do this is that AP European History has a number of different names, dates, events, treaties, laws. There's a lot to keep track of. You have 500 years of history of an entire continent. That's a lot of people and it's a lot to keep track of. As you look at the course, you'll see in week two as we start now under lessons, there's an assignment for 2.2 week two Europedia. When you look at the text for that assignment, you'll see it describes what we're doing. There's going to be a Europedia assignment every week of the course up to and including week 31. And as we go through the history of Europe, we're going to take the names, dates, and events of each week and create a catalog of these descriptions, of these identifications, and create our own study guide, which will become pretty useful in April as we hit the crunch time preparing for the AP European History exam in early May. So as you look through this document, you'll see that there's a link there for the week two identifications. And this is our list that we have to go, to, go through. Years ago when I taught this face-to-face -face in the late 90s, students had to create their own list. They had to create their own notebook of identifications. Every unit, they, they compiled their descriptions for each one of these entries. They wrote it up themselves in a notebook and handed in that notebook while they took the unit test. And this way, they got some points in order to compensate for their test performance. But they were also creating their own study guide. Since you are the beneficiaries of tremendous uh, advancements in technology, we'll be creating these things as a group. We'll be creating these things as a group. Let me let you take a peek at last year's Europedia, and you'll get an idea of what it'll look like as it starts to get busy. You'll see that there's a front page, and on the right-hand side, these are pages that have already been created. We are doing these on a first-come, first-served basis. If you want to enter an entry for a uh, description like Black Death, if you're going to pick that ID, you have to get to that before anyone else has. And you can do that by either searching the wiki, or looking through the list of pages that are already there. They'll always be organized in alphabetical fashion. When someone makes an entry, it should be short, sweet. It's not something that should be in, like an encyclopedia entry because that's not going to help you. It's too much information. What you have to do is read about it, read it in the context of the textbook, probably look at the Wikipedia page, probably look at a couple other sources, and try to condense the most important information and put it into two or three sentences so someone can look at this later and say, okay, I know what the Black Death is and I know why it's important. As you make an entry for an identification, you'll be the first one to create the page. So all you're going to do is follow the link for add a new page and then type in the name of the ID. And then you're going to put your entry in there and then just save it. As other students come along, and you yourself as you go through the Europedia, you can get credit for making comments against the original entry. So here you can see there's a Black Death entry, and behind it there are 12 comments. And these comments add information, they add different pointers, sometimes we end up in, a different, in an argument over what is important about that particular entry, but we end up having a little discussion about it. So later on, as you're going through and studying, you can quickly find out the Black Death and look at these comments after it and somehow make the connection with what it is and it'll provide you with a better study guide. As I said, when the weeks go on, it'll get pretty busy over here as we go through hundreds of these different entries. But I found a way that we can collapse them. Here is my test case where I called them Unit 1 IDs. You'll notice that this menu, as I fool around with it, as you create the pages, will be able to collapse them. So you'll see a week one link, and underneath it will be all the pages for week one, week two, week three, and so on. So that's the way Europedia works. If you have any questions on this, please feel free to submit a question under the Have a Question thread, and we'll answer that question right away and get busy with creating this Europedia. Good luck.